Cup coming up. The big one, I call it the big one because it's the Moto Grande 1000cc. Another packed grid in this one, so we've got a complete range of Yamahas, Ducatis, Suzukis, Kawasakis, it's all in there. And of course the BMW of Ralph Leturco, who is the Sierra sponsor for SBK Superbikes. And there he is, Leturco, number 46, obviously a Valentino Rossi fan. Let's see what the Brazilian could do in this one. Away they go then, Leturco, a sluggish start from fourth place on the grid. He didn't get pole position, so he's got a little bit of catching up to do. Conditions are still damp here at Anglesey in this one, but a very, very big grid indeed. 34 riders, in fact, on the line for this one. A bit of a twitch from the race leader coming out. Difficult to pick up the numbers from the banking corner. As soon as they get closer to us and in shot, we can be more definitive. Here's your top three, however. Race leader number 61 going through. Julian Hughes on the Suzuki. Right with him is Graham Hornby, number 37, but it's thick and fast, the action behind. There they are. There's Hornby, 37, right on the back of Hughes. Hughes having... Oh, Hornby's down! So early in the race, a little bit of over-exuberance, but he picks himself up. There's a little scrap of something uh, on the tarmac there. One of the bump stops or something on the bike, but uh, they're all round. They've all avoided it. So that will promote everybody up one place. There's your race leader. He's well away at the moment. Julian Hughes, I can tell you. And Ralph Leturco pushing hard. So number 46, Ralph Leturco from fourth place on the grid is on a charge. 17 going through, Andrew Fenton. And he's a good, good, strong runner as well. So we expect Andy Fenton to feature well at the end of the race. Where's Leturco? Let's see if we can pick him out in the traffic. There he is, right on the wheel tracks. So uh, the Brazilian riding with his wet weather gear. It's 81 Adrian Beaver ahead of him. And these two now having a bit of a scrap. Leturco really must have got a sluggish start. He's just got the BMW S1000RR going now. And he needs to get it going as well because the race leader, I can tell you, is really, really going away. Julian Hughes is on a mission. He is flying. Leturco unable to get past at the moment. Number 17, Andy Fenton on the CBR 1000. Oh, Leturco's pass. Leturco is through, so that's one more notch on his bedpost, if you'll pardon the expression. Through he goes. Andy Fenton will be the next to go under the hammer, I suspect. Naked bike there. Uh, it must be difficult to ride, and uh, I have to say the rider looking fairly steady on it. There is the number 61 race leader. Julian Hughes. There's Leturco, number 46. The distinctive fluorescent wheels of the SBK Superbike sponsor. The man who actually promotes the series. Superbike City, SBK City Motor Grande 1000. Not only does he sponsor the series, but he's also one of the leading protagonists within the series. So I could, suppose you could argue he might as well take his own prize money home. Certainly that's what he'll be after. But now he's making his presence felt on the number 17. Andy Fenton, I think, can feel the Brazilian breathing down his neck. It's all the Turco in the pit garage. He's very slim, very focused, very fit. And obviously gets a great kick out of his racing. Certainly wouldn't be used to these conditions. There's our race leader. So we've now got Fenton in second place, the Turco up to third. The race leader then, Julian Hughes. You would think, wouldn't you, at this stage, that Hughes is away from it. Because Fenton is certainly holding up the Turco. The Turco cannot find a way past. He's shadowing him, he's right on the back wheel of Andy Fenton. Number 82, Justin Yates. Justin Yates, well down the order at the moment. Race still going on well here. 61, race lead. Where's the gap? Looking for second. Look, oh, it's Leturco. Leturco is past Fenton. So now he's got some work to do. Something like eight seconds. The advantage that Julian has over him. Julian Hughes. 
Rose, GSXR 1000 Suzuki, Ralph Turco, BMW S1000 RR. Nothing in it now, he's right on him. The Turco then can just about estimate where he's going to go past Hughes here. He's looking the long way round, round the outside, and he's done it. Tucks back in. That's a good move. Can he keep it upright? Can Hughes find a way back? The Turco leads there in a 25-point position. You can see how windy it is. The wind rippling his waterproof skin. And I call it a skin because it's about all it is. Number 44 going round steadily, Brett Price from much wedlock in Shropshire on his naked R1 Yamaha. Just up the road from me, actually. Much went lucky. He hasn't had that far to come to angle. See, Leturco, though. And Julian Hughes still fighting back, so he hasn't given up. It's a real battle between these two. Hughes on the inside. Oh, bit of a let go on the rear wheel. One lap to go, then. Hughes, can he find a way past Leturco? It's going to be close, I can tell you. It's going to be really, really close. Further down the order, the scrap still going on. That uh, here's Leturco. He's opened up a bit now. He's got something like five or six machine lengths over Hughes. Brazilian is away with it. Looking for third place. Here we are. 138. Chris Lacey is up to third now. Some 12 seconds off the lead. But he's muscled his way past both Beaver and Fenton. Fenton at this moment was running so strongly, the number 17. He is down in fifth. Here is Ralph Leturco then. The checkered flag not too far to go now for the Brazilian. Muscling his way through the tail enders. Julian Hughes is right with him. Let's have a look, see where they are. The checkered flag is ahead. Look at Hughes, that's how close it is. 0.2 of a second. The final analysis, it was a close call, but confirmation of the win for Ralph Leturco. There's Hughes. What a great battle they had on track. Both happy with their performance. There it is. Leturco, Hughes, Chris Lacey then. Andrew Fenton, third for so long, finished fifth. Well, Leturco then second, Julian Hughes. That's how close it is at the top of the championship. You saw the battle on track. Railton not far behind.